My name is Banks Dixon. I am the owner and operator of Frog Hollow Outdoors. We are an uh, instruction and guide service mostly based in paddle sports activities. Most of the trips that we offer, uh, day trip wise, take place around the Raleigh Durham Chapel area. It doesn't have the allure that the mountains and the coast do, but there's an amazing amount of diversity in the Piedmont. The Eno is uh, a river within the Neuse River Basin. It's one of the areas where we probably do uh, a majority of our uh, day trips uh, locally. And it, it flows um, out of northern Orange County through Hillsboro uh, into Durham County and right through a corner of uh, the city limits of Durham. And people are relatively familiar with it. They know their hiking trails and things like that. but. Um, we discover quite often as people get out on the water, they didn't realize quite how much they could experience um, some of the things that they might normally drive way out of town to go see. Uh, and it's usually a good location for sighting some kind of wildlife, things like deer, raccoon, beaver. Um, it's not unusual to uh, potentially see some of those or, or signs of them. The Eno River is a great example of how waterways are really some of our last wild spaces as we get into urban and developed areas. You could be on the river flowing through the city limits in a very busy part of town and when you're on the water you might not ever even know it. A big part of what we do is, is um, trying to connect people to the outdoors and um, so we feel that um, paddle sports, canoeing and kayaking are a great way to have that opportunity. It's a way that I can kind of recharge and let things go. Helping people realize the connections that they have to the outside world. The fact that there are things like the Eno River and Falls Lake and Jordan Lake and knowing those resources are available for uh, being able to relax and enjoy the natural world but then also that, that tie that they have to everything else. How the stream that trickles out the, you know, in the backyard of their house will end up in one of those rivers, in one of those lakes. One of those lakes ends up on another river and ends up you know, eventually flowing into the sound or the ocean and uh, bringing that, that, that greater connection to people's minds is, uh, is an important thing for us.